Hi, my name is Zora Stevens, and I am interviewing Mark Stevens, the famous piano player. First off, I'm going to be asking him questions that I really reviews his song. And if I miss any questions that you guys were asking, make sure to leave it in the comments down below, and I'll answer it whenever I'm free and whenever I can. Thank you. Hello, Mark. Thank you for coming today. Thank you so much. So go ahead and introduce yourself, and we'll go ahead and get started. Well, my name is Mark Stevens. I'm a composer and piano player, musician here in the United States of America, and I'm, I'm based in the Los Angeles area. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Northern California on the Monterey Peninsula. It's a very beautiful place. Yeah. So now let's get on the really important questions. Okay, what does E Pluribus Unum mean? E Pluribus Unum is our national motto. Um, it was suggested by Thomas Jefferson at the founding of our country and means essentially out of many we are one. Uh, it's on the great seal of the United States and on the flags of the symbols in the U.S. Senate and the House of Representatives. It's been in our history a long time. It's on our currency and our coinage. It's a very important motto. Okay, next question. Can you explain the meaning of the song? Well, the song really came into focus um, with the lyrics, uh, with every color under the sun, out of many, we are one. So it's really a celebration of the great diversity that we enjoy in this country and we've enjoyed for many years. And in fact, that's responsible for so much greatness in this country from science and innovation, the inventions, uh, science and technology and medicine and the arts. And okay, let's move on. How did you come up with E Pluribus Unum? Well, uh, over the last few years, just working on uh, something that I wanted to write about America and what it meant to me. And E Pluribus Unum, I thought, was a good place to start. Uh, and it's really an embrace of love, and uh, it's a repudiation of hate and racism and white supremacy. Um, and, uh, and that it's a really a high ideal that we strive for in this country, but I think it's important to be reminded of it. Amazing. Thanks for the interview. Yeah, did you have fun? I did. I had so fun much. too. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's see. Wait, are you guys rolling? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's start that again. Okay. Hello. So now it's almost the end of our interview. Did you have fun? I did. Thanks yeah. so much. You're yeah. a terrific interviewer. I have a lot to fun. So now um, I'm going to go ahead and play some behind the scenes on the horn section. Yeah, so we're going to see some behind the, behind the scenes uh, footage of when we made the, uh, when we recorded the horn section on this song, E Pluribus Unum with a great horn section, uh, eight piece with uh, Wayne Bergeron, Walt Fowler, Wendell Kelly, Alex Siles, uh, Eric Marienthal, Steve Alanese. Lots um, of people. I'm missing a few, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So we'll see a little bit of it that now. Yep. You ready? Yep. Okay, cool. Let me mention one more thing. So thank you guys so much for watching. If I didn't mention any questions that you wanted me to answer, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below and I'll answer it whenever I can. Thank you, let's watch them behind the scenes.